Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Godson and today we're going to be doing a base layout for your Christmas trees. If you guys notice, I have a lot of pine trees on the edges of my base here. That's because it helps prevent enemy players from spawning in those areas. If they touch the trees, then they can't deploy right there. So I use that as a way of defense and I like to do all pine trees just because they look really nice and I like uh I just like the design of pine trees. And so uh, whenever Christmas trees come out, they're going to be going there too, as, long, as well as other special updates uh, like the hand coming out of the tombstone. I believe that's what it was. Uh, so you guys, for this video, we're going to be creating a base so that when Christmas trees do pop out, you will be able to save yours so that it won't be in a spot uh, where you're going to have to chop it down because it interferes with your base. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. What we're going to do is we're going to make a uh, parameter with our wall and it's going to go all the way around the base all the way up and around and this should make it a lot easier so that we could just put stuff in there and we won't have to worry about uh, making the base design too fancy so you guys i was fortunate enough to get my uh, christmas tree already like i think it was only one one day right after the update that I got my Christmas tree and I know some people are still waiting to get theirs but be patient uh, usually every Christmas holiday or even Halloween you get at least three I would say three of the new update content like uh, Christmas trees or whatever they have uh, you get at least three of them uh, before the update finishes before it goes away so I have one so far and I'm just gonna plan my base out so that I can get another one all right, so we have, uh, let me just fix this here. We have our walls uh, going around the base, and I have some of the gaps a little further away from the edges just in case uh, it's not going to spawn there. We're going to make the edges just a little further away. And also, you guys, what I like about the new update is it allows us to do this type of base design, and you won't have to worry about switching between... Uh, this base design and your normal farming or trophy layouts so let's say after you've uh, made this base design what you can do is when you're about to go off your shield or you want to go into attack that's when you go into your editor and then you change your layout to the farming or trophy layouts and then after you're done uh, once you've been attacked and you're on shield then you can switch back to this one go into your editor layout and then change it to this uh, uh, Christmas tree layout and that should help you get your Christmas tree because you want to you don't want to be on the uh, trophy or farming layout because then it'll be harder uh, for your tree to spawn in the right area now I believe the trees only spawn when you're offline when you're not active and when you're on shield uh, because when you're online you, they won't spawn anything that I know of that I uh, have been playing the game I haven't seen anything spawn while I'm playing uh, so when you go offline and you're not playing and you're on shield then that's when I believe uh, trees will spawn for you all right you guys so as you can see I'm gonna be placing all of my uh, items here we're gonna go around the base putting our storages collectors weapons and everything that we can inside and we're gonna leave a little gap between them just as long as you can see that the um, the radius is connected and there's no gaps in your radius here then that means nothing can spawn inside there it's being used up and it's not free so that tells the game that uh, you can't you know have anything popping up in there <laughs> that's a part of your base design so we're gonna just keep going around here we're gonna put everything inside until we're if the last of the items are gone and you guys I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this and then I'll come back as soon as we finish this up
Okay, we're back, you guys. And I have just my army camps left over, so I'm making some room for that. This is really weird. I've seen one base before that had the army camps in the middle. It's really interesting. And I thought that was really awesome. But now that they have the hit points reduced, it might not be as effective. However, we have our town hall in there. Now we can just put our heroes in. The king here and the queen. How about she can go over here? Now we do have one more gap, so I need to adjust this a little bit so that we don't have any trees spawning inside there. We can move our wizard tower a little closer. And we'll just rearrange this. Now you guys can be creative and come up with your own design or uh, do something similar like this, but just make sure you don't have any gaps and all of the uh, radius on the outside is free so that your tree will spawn out there instead of inside your base area and closer to the edge okay so we have that it looks like everything is good to go and we're gonna go ahead and save this layout and when we get back everything should be in order and again you guys this is for the Christmas tree updates so that all of your Christmas trees will spawn on the outside. You won't have any problems with it interfering with your layouts. And this is a design so that you can alternate between your trophy, farming, or fun bases. Use this design when you're not pushing or farming and this should help you get your tree where you want it to be. Alright you guys, thank you for watching. This is Gasson and I will see you next time. Gasson out.